Just lift up your voices. Lift up a new song to the Lord. Just sing a new song in heavenly tongues with words. Just sing a new song to the Lord.
It was delightful. Yeah, my wife... Yeah. Uh, Scrooge McVallotton. That not, not quite. <laughs> no, not quite. <laughs> Although my wife was sitting... I think uh, someone sent her video from behind him. I already got it on my phone <laughs> of him just uh, slightly panicked with all the kids around. Pandemonium with kids. It was awesome. Yeah, but it is a fun service. We're really happy to be yeah. here. Uh, and we're here to celebrate uh, Jesus and have some yeah. fun time with our church family. And so we're really happy to have you. Dan, we're having fun time with church family. Uh, we want to have fun time with our own individual family. What are some of your favorite moments... Christmas moments, fun traditions. What do you got going on this uh, this year? I don't know. It's you know the kids are teenagers, right? So it's like that less gifts, more expensive sort of uh, quandary <laughs> that we're in. It's like I'm afraid we're gonna open like two gifts each. <laughs> like, That's it. You're welcome. Just, That's just for open you. Open them real slow. <laughs> Super slow. <laughs> we're saving the paper, kids. So. <laughs> Save the paper. That's awesome. Yeah, we're in that we're in that moment too ourselves. So. Yeah. They gave me the Christmas list uh, this year, which... Oh, yeah. My my kids have no problem being asking for... Their, they boldly approach the throne of grace with confidence, oh. you know, asking for the good gifts. It's nuts. Yeah. They, yeah, I yeah. just looked on the list, and I said, there's we're, no way. We're not raising shy kids. Yeah, there'll be a lot of no's. <laughs> yeah, there'll be a lot, of, a lot of no's this year. A lot of broken hearts. And, no uh, coal, but a lot of no's. A lot of so, no's. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, we're excited. you get together as a family? Yeah, yeah. We'll be a small family, but I got some family who come to town, and... It'll oh, be that's good fun. Time. Yeah, yeah. That's fun. We do uh, we do a bit of a, a Johnson Christmas, and then we do a You guys do family. the thing. We do. I have about three three Christmases, uh, potentially four this year. So by the time it's over, uh, you know, we're, uh, we're happy. We're happy yeah. for Christmas, and we're really excited. Well, it's our hope uh, that you have, you guys are watching, you guys have the best Christmas. Yeah. And that's our hope, and that's our prayer uh, this year, uh, that Christmas is amazing for everybody. Absolutely. It really isn't about the gifts. It's about, it's about Jesus. And so, uh, gosh, we're so excited to have you. We just want you to enjoy tonight's service with us, worship with us, sing some songs. Yep. And then us. we, we're going to be together Christmas morning as well, because church we'll is, be. uh, Sunday morning is, yes. is Christmas morning. So yep. we'll be having service. We'll be able to be together. Then yeah. We well. don't cancel church for nothing. No, not, not even all. Christmas. <laughs> We love church, <laughs> Jesus and church what on Christmas. Said. It's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. Well, thanks so much for joining us today or this evening, man. We're so happy to have you. Any last words? Uh, no, let, let's have. We'll have hot chocolate. So sometimes we tell you we're gonna have communion. And we tell you to go get communion stuff. Get ready. Go get some, yourself some hot chocolate if you want uh, for the tree lighting service because yeah. we'll be partaking on the way out to the tree. Well, it's gonna be awesome. Thanks so much. Uh, we yeah. love you guys and uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.
Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Do you guys do you guys walk through like stores where they've got, you know, Oh Holy Night or some, you know, Joy to the World, some profound Christmas song playing? And you're wondering, why isn't everybody on their knees? You know, why this this is like you could start a revival with this song. There's so, there's so many profound lyrics in uh, our Christmas songs. I will, we're going to pray and uh, just kind of start this evening. So glad you showed up. What would it be like for God to own every single part of this next month? Uh, li literally, the stores that we go into, the conversations, the gift buying, the dinners, the meals, the celebrations, the friends, the relationships, everything. If Jesus was at the absolute center of it all, I, I know that's the intention, but I'm going to pray that that actually happens, that we just find the Spirit of God just invading every single part of our life. He is the originator of pleasure and party and fun. He created all of that. So I'm going to pray that, that we just discover whole new levels, well, of a Holy Ghost party. How's that? I just think that's the way it ought to work. So let's just pray real quick. Father. We look forward to honoring you in everything we are, everything we do. We want that so much. And I pray for this family of believers that you would blanket us even now with an awareness of your purpose in this season and let there be breakthrough and joy in every household in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, you did good. Turn, find out who you don't know. Bless them good. We'll get started.
third verse, the mile he lays, mile he lays. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We invite you to go ahead and have a seat. We're Tom and Leslie Crandall. We're pastors here at Bethel Church. And we're married as well. We are married. We're a thing. 23 years. Well, we're excited to share with you guys just before we get into it here. We're going to read the story of Christ's birth as recorded in Luke chapter 2. And we wanted to hear afresh today the words of Isaiah and Micah, the prophetic words that were proclaimed about Jesus before he was born. The Lord spoke and prophets heard what God was saying about the Messiah to come, the Savior to come. Moses said that God would give a deliverer who's just like him. And we're going to read these words uh, and what he was going to accomplish. He is the Messiah. He's the anointed one, the only anointed one, the only source of God's salvation for all of humanity to every heart that responds to him. Jesus came as a baby, fully human and fully divine at the same time, in beautiful fulfillment of the scripture and is the answer to the deepest hopes of humanity. Everybody wants a king like Jesus. As we read these scriptures, I want you to just, there might be a few moments where you feel the Holy Spirit touch your own heart and personally minister to your heart. I want you to actually just respond to the Lord however he moves on you in these moments, because we know that when we read the word of God, it transforms our lives, amen? Isaiah 9, 2, 6 through 7 prophesies that the people walking in darkness, they have seen a great light. And those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. For unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given. And the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing it and upholding it with righteousness and justice. And from that time on and forever, the zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish it. I feel like we should shout. Don't, Amen. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was good. Man, Micah, verse 2. But you, Bethlehem, Ephrathah, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from of old and from ancient times. Isaiah 7, 13 through 14 declares... Hear now, house of David, is it not enough to try the patience of humans? Will you try the patience of my God also? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will conceive and will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. How many of you are glad that he is with Woo! us? Emmanuel. Side comment, these were written hundreds of years before Jesus was born. Let it just blow your mind. There's no other book on the planet like this. Amen. Isaiah 11, verse 1 through 6. A shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse, and his roots, a branch, will bear fruit. The spirit of the Lord will rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and of understanding, the spirit of counsel and of might, the spirit of the knowledge of the fear of the Lord, and he will delight in the fear of the Lord. He will not judge by what he sees with his eyes or decide by what he hears with his ears, but with righteousness he will judge the needy. 
With justice, he will give decisions for the poor of the earth. He will strike the earth with the rod of his mouth and the breath of his lips. He will slay the wicked. Righteousness will be his belt and faithfulness the sash around his waist. The wolf will live with the lamb. The leopard will lie down with the goat. The calf and the lion and the yearling together and a little child will lead them. Isaiah 42, one through nine. Close your eyes as I read this. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one in whom I delight. I will put my spirit on him and he will bring justice to the nations. He will not shout or cry out or raise his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break. A smoldering wick he will not snuff out. In faithfulness, he will bring forth justice. He will not falter or be discouraged till he establishes justice on the earth. In his teaching, the islands will put their hope. For this is what God the Lord says, that the creator of the heavens who stretches them out, who spreads out the earth with all that springs from it, who gives breath to its people and life to those who walk on it, I, the Lord, have called you in righteousness. I will take hold of your hand and I will keep you and make you to be a covenant for the people and a light for the Gentiles, to open the eyes of the blind, to free the captives from prison, to release from the dungeon those who sit in darkness, for I am the Lord, that is my name. I will not yield my glory to another or my praise to idols. See, the former things have taken place and new things I declare before they spring into being. I announce them to you. Woo. Come on, somebody say hallelujah. <laughs> Isaiah 49, verse 1 through 7. Listen to me, you islands. Hear this, you distant nations. Before I was born, the Lord called me. From my mother's womb, he has spoken my name. He made my mouth like a sharpened sword. In the shadow of his hand, he hid me. He made me into a polished arrow and concealed me in his quiver. He said to me, you are my servant, Israel, in whom I will display my splendor. But I said, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for nothing at all. Yet what is due to me in the Lord's hands and my reward is with my God. And now the Lord says, he who formed me in the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him and gather Israel to himself. For I am honored in the eyes of the Lord, and my God has been my strength. He says, it is too small a thing for you to be my servant, to restore the tribes of Jacob and bring back those of Israel I have kept. I will also make you a light for the Gentiles, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. This is what the Lord says the Redeemer and the Holy One of Israel, to whom, to whom was despised and abhorred by the nations, to the servants of rulers. Kings will see you and stand up. Princes will see and bow down because of the Lord who is faithful, the Holy One of Israel who has chosen you. Amen. We're gonna sing, O Come Emmanuel. Go ahead and just put your hands out right now. Just begin to respond to him being with us in this moment. Lord, we thank you for your presence. We thank you that you are with us, Emmanuel.
that mourns in lonely exile here until the sun of God appears. One more time, rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to Hebrews 11, 1, 1 through 3 writes, In the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets, which is what we were just reading, the prophetic words about the coming Christ, at many times and in various ways. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son, whom he appointed heir of all things, and through whom he also made the universe. For the son is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of his being, sustaining all things by his powerful word. And after he had provided purification for sin, he sat down at the right hand of his majesty in heaven. So powerful. So powerful. Thanks, God. Ooh. Thanks, God. Luke chapter 2, verse 1 through 20. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinus was the governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up to the town of Nazareth in Galilee, to Judah, to Bethlehem, to the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her first son, her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all of the people. <laughs> Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you, for he is the Messiah, the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. We'll find a baby wrapped in cloth lying in a manger. And suddenly a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God, saying glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to those whom his favor rests. And when the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing which has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning that he had been told about his, this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Our final scripture tonight is John 1, 10 through 14. For he was in the world. And though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. For he came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed on his name, he gave the right to be called children of God. Children of God born not of the natural descent, nor of human decision 
or of a husband's will, but born of God. The word became flesh and he made his dwelling among us. For we have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only son who came from the father, full of grace and truth. Let's stand together. We're gonna worship some more and thank him for his coming and from his delivering us from all darkness, from all sin, from all shame, that we could be called the children of God because he came.
nature sing, and 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 nature sing, and 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 nature sing. Wow, that that might be the only snow we have in Reading this Christmas. Don't. Don't breathe, maybe not. Don't breathe too deep, little tip. What, what an amazing time, what an amazing time to hear such truth, to sing such truth, and to gather with the person of truth. So great. May you experience the warmth of Christmas this year, which is Christ, which is Christ. This is the time when we're gonna light the Christmas tree. In just a minute, we're gonna go through those doors, and um, it's not much more um, dry outside either. But there's, there's hot chocolate on your way out. There's also a photo booth, and you've got about 10 minutes until we light the tree. So the hot chocolate will be available afterwards. Wrap up warm, and we'll see you out there. Well, everybody, thank you so much for joining right. us at tonight's service. It was amazing. I don't know if you can see, uh, but we had some uh, fake snow. Some fake snow. snow. Yeah, this is not a manifestation, a supernatural no, manifestation. No, no. It's this a... is uh, bubbles, which I inhaled, yeah, by the I way. I too. Like... Yeah. We didn't quite put together the singing really robustly with bubbles in the air. No, uh, it was supposed to be outside. <laughs> it was. Yeah. Before the weather changed, it was going to be an outside snowstorm. But we brought it inside. Yeah, so. it's, I'll tell you, it was a big hit with all the kids. Absolutely. And uh, it was so much fun. And I accidentally inhaled right in oh. the middle of Joy to the World. Uh, down the throat. Yeah, deep. And it like, was... have you ever been like bike riding and had a gnat come in? It's something like that. So. It was uh, <laughs> it's quite the experience. Well, we want to say thank you. Dan, why don't you yeah. pray for us before we Absolutely. leave? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, just so grateful that you're with us as well. And then it was beautiful just to hear again the prophetic words about Christ 600, 700 years before he came. He really is the deepest uh, cry of every human heart to have a king like Jesus. And so uh, we just pray for you that this Christmas season, you would enjoy the presence of the Lord profoundly and deeply, that your family would experience his presence, that your extended family and your adopted family, those that you've, God has sown your hearts together, that you would know his love, know his truth, and know his grace profoundly in your life. So we bless you, and just that you'd have a tremendous Christmas season as we head into, what well, we're just about 20 days away from you know Christmas Day, and this is traditionally a time when the church has enjoyed his presence and thought about him, regularly about his coming and his incarnation. So we bless you for the beautiful season. Awesome, well thank you so much. We are headed outside to go uh, light our Christmas tree. If you would like to experience that with us, just turn all the lights off in your house, <laughs> count down from 10 and then flip them back on uh, and uh, go do that outside while it's same? cold. I'm not yeah, sure it'd be the same. Of... If your tree's up, maybe just flip yeah, the power yeah, cord off. Kind of close. Yeah. Well, yeah. we love you guys. Thank you so much and we'll see you next week.
Ah, ah.